Hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ash K. Holm, and today's I'm video, <laughs> I have the one, the only, Shay Mitchell with me. And she's one of my clients, and not only that, she's a good friend of mine, and I'm just so happy to have you on my channel. I'm so excited to be here. Congrats on launching that. Thank so you. Awesome. Now I can join her in the YouTube world. Exactly. Mm. And honestly, I selfishly did this video because I really wanted to learn exactly how you give glowy skin Ooh. and dark lips. For today's look, I'm gonna be focusing on how to get this glossy skin and a dark fall lip. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. One of the most important things about this makeup look is skin prep. So we're gonna get right into that. I'm gonna have you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna start off by prepping her skin with the Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is such a great spray because I feel like it just lightly mists over the skin and it leaves the skin nice and dewy. So I feel like all of the skincare will just kind of melt into the skin. I'm gonna be mixing two skincare products on your skin, the Dior Capture Total Cell Energy and also the La Mer Renewal Oil. I've been mixing my moisturizer with my oil just to make the skin nice and glowy. Mm -hmm. And you really have to do what's best for you. For this type of look, I know that I want her skin to look like glass. So I'm gonna be mixing the two. But if you have oily skin, you might want to skip out on the oil. You're like a little scientist over there. Right, I know, I'm just uh, mixing them up in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna go in and just apply this with a brush. This brush is by Kat Von D. It's my foundation brush that I love to use. And I'm just gonna kind of put this right over the forehead, tops of the cheeks, bring this down to the neck and decolletage because we want everything to glow. Glow. The reason why I'm taking this and I'm kind of putting it all over the skin is because I know her skin can handle it and her skin takes like makeup really well. But if you have oily skin, like I said, you might want to skip out on the oil part and just stick to the moisturizer. But whenever we do, whenever I do Shay's makeup, it's all about layering. I feel like mm -hmm. that technique is so important and you guys will see today that I'm gonna be layering a bunch of different products. So it is a lot of products, but the way that it's placed on the skin, it makes it look really natural. And it, you kind of need like a nice layer of moisturizer and you know oil on the skin whenever you are layering, because it can get you know kind of dry on right. your skin throughout the day. But if you have the right skin prep, you're in good hands. So for lip prep, I'm gonna be using the Sugar Lip Wonder Drops by Fresh. And I've been using these to prep a lot of my clients' lips lately. You just kind of take it, drop it right on the lips, and I'm gonna use a brush and kind of blend that out. So this basically smooths out the lip texture. So by the time that I'm ready to do her lips, they're gonna be nice and prepped. They're not gonna be dry. Just gonna be a really smooth surface for us to create a nice base. So smooth. So smooth. Smooth lip commercial. Ding. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go on top of it with the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Moisturizer. And this is just gonna kind of melt into the skin. We want these lips nice and hydrated because mm -hmm. we're doing a dramatic lip, so it needs to be smooth. So for Shea's skin, I love using the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation in the shade Honey. I'm using the same foundation brush that I use to apply the skincare because I feel like this brush gives really great coverage it's just very quick and easy to apply. For a fast application, this has kind of been my go-to brush lately. Carry it through the neck, people, and the chest. We do not <laughs> want to see those lines. Preach, honey. Preach. <laughs> Sometimes I like to mix some of my foundation into the oil just to make the chest really glowy, but you can see I put the moisturizer and the oil down here, so it's gonna give us this really beautiful glow. Everything you do, it becomes perfection. I feel like you're somebody that like- Doesn't like the word fine? No. She, she's like literally, Shay Mitchell is always striving for perfection. That's like one thing that I've noticed with you and I've learned Maybe so much. Maybe I am perfection, but striving to do my best. Like to do I your have best. to feel like it's my best. It may not be yeah. perfect, but I did my best. Exactly. And she has fun while doing it. And yes. She's always calm and just like so cool about everything. And I just love working with you. You're just always a good time, honestly. What I like to do is take a small synthetic brush with the NARS Macadamia Concealer. That's the shade that I like to use on her. And I just take this down the bridge of the nose and we basically let it sit and it creates a really beautiful highlight. And this concealer is really moisturizing and hydrating on the skin. So if you let it sit, it's okay. It's not gonna make the skin dry or anything like that. And I also like to let some sit on the forehead just a little bit. I'm gonna let this sit down the bridge of her nose. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. This is 01. I'm just gonna take this and start shading right underneath the cheekbones. The brush that I'm using is by ColourPop. This is number F5. 
And if you're not sure where to start your contour, you can always take your brush and start it right at the top of the ear, smile for me. And that's kind of where you would know how far to bring it into. I feel like this is a really great trick for beginners. Mm -hmm. Are you learning? I'm learning so much. <laughs> so I'm just bringing this right underneath the jaw and I like to kind of start right underneath, bring it underneath the chin, blend this in a downward direction, but then you can also bring it right above the jawline as well to create a nice shadow here. And I, like I said, I like to bring this into the ear. That way everything is cohesive and everything is blended on the face and there's no starting and stopping lines, which I find that to be so important. Just went ahead and started blending out this line here with the conceal brush from Marc Jacobs. And I'm gonna take the same concealer, but I'm gonna mix two shades, macadamia and also ginger. I'm just gonna put a few strokes right underneath her eyes and then I'm gonna take this brush and softly kind of push and pat this in that way we can really build up the coverage right underneath the eye and the areas that we need it I'm gonna also bring this down the sides of the nose and then we're gonna blend it all out with a beauty blender and I do love this concealer I find myself using it a lot just because it is really hydrating underneath the eyes mm -hmm. and this is an area where you can be dry under the eyes you can be oily under the eyes but overall we just don't want it to look cakey and I find that I don't really have that problem with this concealer it's definitely our go-to yeah, right for sure yeah and this brush makes it really easy to apply it's very soft on the skin and I feel like you'd have to have soft brushes around the eye area and really all over the face because you really need to be gentle and take care of your skin. And then I like to take my beauty blender and just kind of push and go right on top of this area. One thing I love about you is I feel like you balance so much and I don't know how you do it. I literally feel like she's superwoman. I don't know how you juggle everything that you juggle, but you always like make it happen. Like if there's a goal that Shay has, consider it done. Like she's achieved it. And I feel like you just didn't like, I, I don't think, know, you I inspire think you me I think to everybody that I surround myself with has that same thing. I think it's just being passionate, you know, finding people that are equally passionate about doing a good job. I agree. That's yeah. what it comes down to. And I, we gravitate towards those people. Absolutely. I feel like the people that are in our circle are just that. And yeah. I love it. It's so inspiring. And I just feel like blessed to be surrounded by all these boss, powerful women. Boss. 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 She's a boss. So before I go in and set the under eyes, I always take a beauty blender and just really push out any lines. That way you have a really smooth finish when you go in with the powders. So for powder, I'm just using the Skin Fetish Loose Powder by Pat McGrath. She's, skin Fetish Loose Powder by She's writing this down. Pat McGrath, she's literally. Order. Can you just wait till the video comes out? She needs to, every, she needs to know everything right loose now. Loose Powder, Pat McGrath, level two. It would be so funny. People think that's a joke? No, this I literally, not. Kaylee is like, okay, add to cart. <laughs> Her assistant is literally grabbing all these products as we speak. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just taking a puff and I'm just lightly kind of setting underneath the eye. And we do this because usually when I'm working with Shay, she needs the makeup to last all day, but she wants to be dewy and glowy. Mm -hmm. So we use the puff kind of like in the center of the face, but on the outsides, we like to keep it dewy. So there's definitely, I feel like there's some kind of like science to makeup and like your technique and how you apply it. And you really just have to be careful about your placement and your pressure. Those are two things that I really think about a lot. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. So why do you use this? This puff because you always do this and it's different like I, I do I, yeah. yeah and I don't do it on everybody like it just depends but I feel like for a natural makeup look we want to look set in the right areas and we want it to last and I feel like the puff really pushes it into the yes. skin it's definitely like an old-school makeup artist trick right. I don't really see this um, with like your day-to-day -day makeup like your everyday person mm -hmm. just doing their glam but like you'll find makeup artists utilizing this tool a lot and it's just an old school makeup artist trick and it works really well and it's great to use if you really want that makeup to not go anywhere. I do want to bake a little bit just right underneath. I love baking. We love baking. Chocolate we really cookies, do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brownies, cakes, just all of it really. So I'm taking a small beauty blender and I'm using a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just bringing this right underneath the contour, just basically slicing this off. So we're going to let that sit and you can see I like to leave a really thin line. We're not overdoing it with the powders right underneath. It's just a small little line and that line, it does something. I'm gonna go ahead and contour her nose. This is the KKW Contour Single and this is the number six. It's such a great contour to use, I feel like, on the nose because it is on that cooler side. So it's not too warm in this area. And I like to take a blending brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush. This one's from MAC. It's the 222 brush. It is discontinued. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. So I'm just gonna bring this down the sides of the nose and you can hold the brush 
and oh. I kind of like to, yeah, this is a good trick because I like to basically- Wait, you put this here. I just had yeah, them in. You put this here and then you go on the other side? Like do you paint? Mm -hmm. Not like that, not oh. like, not like, I know what you mean, like you could definitely do that, but basically you kind of need to make it a little more challenging, okay. if you will. Tell so me. use like, I'm grab watching. a mirror. So use like the beginning of your brow right here as a guide. Mm. So you would hold it right here and say, okay, that's exactly where I need to create that line. So you kind of need to do it quick and just kind of create that imaginary line. If some people's brows don't go that far in, mm. so you need to pretend like they do, because you don't want your contour like too far out this way, because it just makes your nose wider. Mm -hmm. And we want to create an optical illusion and snatch the nose. Yes. So I basically like to kind of make a U shape and follow around this area here, and I'll, I do like to blow this out and blend it into the eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. So that way it's all connected, it's cohesive, and it's kind of blended into the brows. Taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just kind of sweeping this over the nose to kind of soften up these lines because we would just want it to look natural in this area. I'm gonna take this skinny dip highlighter from Jouer and just bring this right down the center of the nose to kind of bring back some light in this area. And this also makes the nose a little bit more thin as well. For bronzer, I'm gonna mix two shades. These are by Buxom. This one is Rooftop Tan and Backyard Bronze. It's a great bronzer to use because I feel like it has blurring properties in it, so you really get that filtered look. And you have one that's a little bit lighter and one that is a little bit deeper. So, of course, I like to go ahead and start off with that lighter shade just to kind of bring some soft warmth into the skin. We're basically setting those areas that I applied the cream contour. And it's already created a nice guy because I went ahead and baked right here. So we're gonna go right on top of that. And it's okay if some of it comes off, but this just kind of ensures that you have like such a smooth, nice contour application that's really blended. I'm just pushing this into the skin by stippling the brush. And every now and then I'll kind of sweep back and forth just to kind of sweep. So now that I've went in with rooftop tan, I can take backyard bronze and just go right underneath it to kind of deepen up that contour. So I'm just taking a little extra translucent powder and I'm basically just dusting off the baking that we already did right underneath the cheeks. And this also kind of softly blends in the contour as well. So for blush, I'm gonna do a cream blush because I feel like cream blush just looks so youthful and radiant, you mm -hmm. know? I it love that It melts into the skin really nice. Mm, so I good. Agree. That's what we want. And I like to warm it up with my body heat first, just on the back of my hand. And I'm using another brush from Say Me. This is 1.5. And that way you can kind of see what it's gonna look like too. It's a, this one's Rose Latte. Smile for me. So have you this way. So I usually have her smile. And I'm just gonna kind of bring this into the apples of the cheeks and she can feel my pressure is really light. With her looking up, it's really easy for me to get right underneath these bottom lashes. And I'm kind of just bringing this into the eyeshadow as well and up into the temples. So you don't just do the cherry, the, no, what is it? I basically put it everywhere, no, I'm kidding. You can put it anywhere that you wanna glow and just add a little bit of warmth into the skin. I'm a collector of all things dewy, yes. so <laughs> you're like, yes, and yes, you are, so many dewy products. So this is by Ciate, the shade is Gleam, and it's such a beautiful, golden, glossy kind of finish. But I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of press this in to the cream highlighter. Looks straight for me. I like to pinch it to make it a little more narrow. I'll have you look up. That way, because when she's looking down, I don't. I feel like it could get into the eyelashes, but by looking up, you're kind of like in a safe space. You're not gonna get it on the lashes. And I'm pinching this nice and narrow and just kind of bringing this right on top of the cheeks. And you can also bring it right onto the temples. Never in the center, but always on the sides. So that way when she turns to the side, mm. you have such a beautiful glow. Exactly, just like that. And this one's great because it has a golden undertone and she has more olive undertones in her skin. And I just really love how the brand thought about that. They have so many different dewy sticks with different undertones. So there's really something for everyone. And Shay just happens to look really good in golden tones. And then that way, the sides of the face are really cohesive with the rest of the body because we wouldn't want her face to be matte and the, body, and the rest of her body glowing. Yeah. You can also put it right on the side of the chin, oh. just kind of like off to the side, not in the center. So that way, when you turn to the side, you kind of have a little bit of glow like down the side right here. And you can always take the back of the Beauty Blender with whatever's left over and just really like push into all these areas and it softens up that line right here because it'll still keep it nice and cut, but a little bit more so it's not so, natural, yeah. harsh. Yeah, harsh. we don't want a harsh baking line. She's You're so glowing. pretty, she's glowing. I've always wanted to do a dark lip on you. I know, we need a, yeah, an we, need event. A, we need an event, we need a dark lip moment. And since there's no events right now, we'll just take this, this moment. This is it. <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. Well, I'm gonna use one of the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners in the shade Stakeout. I'm gonna start with this one first. So these are great because they have a plumper built into them. So you'll kind of feel your lips like kind of start to tingle up a little bit. And then it also has a brush on the other end. So you can kind of smooth out those lines and get a really sharp lip with it. And the brush is actually nice and crisp. I use this one a lot. I'm just starting off by lining her lips with her natural lip shape. And then I'll kind of take a step back, look at it and see where I need to overdraw. So I just went on top of the lip with a lipstick from KKW Beauty. This is number seven. It's from the Pink Collection. And I feel like this just made the lip a lot more rich. And it's also nice and creamy, so it's gonna keep her lips hydrated. Ooh. So this is the finished look. We both did that at the same time. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> So this is the finished look. Let us know in the comments what you guys think, if you would wear this look for fall, and if you found this helpful, please I like did. it. Oh, okay. And of course, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I used on Shea today to get this look, make sure you guys check out the description because I'm putting all the products down below. I also have them. She does, Whole a list. secret list for herself. Add to cart. <laughs> please like it. Continue. You need and to know the spiel. No. I know, right? I'm a YouTuber now. Exactly. So please like it if you guys found this video helpful and make sure to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. I would love you endlessly, desperately, vividly. I would not die for you, but live for you. I would gift you my mouth, my old age, an entire life spent on your lips. If I were allowed, I'd place the world in your hands.